In June, BC sports fans were devastated to learn that Gino Ogic, the longtime Canucks tough guy and a franchise icon, was battling a rare heart condition. Now we learn that Louis Pisaglia, another icon in BC sports scene, the longtime Lions place kicker and punter, is also staging his own fight against colon cancer. I'm joined by Lowell Ulrich, the longtime province football writer from his home in North Vancouver. LU, you've chatted with Louis. Uh, what can you tell us? Well, we had the opportunity, Jonathan, to sit down and uh, talk with uh, Louis for about an hour, not so long back, a few days ago. And uh, uh, basically, he started to talk about, you know, what's what's been going on in his life the last eight months. I mean, this has not been just a overnight revelation. And people at the uh, Vancouver Golf Club, where he uh, where he plays golf, uh, they've known about it for quite some time. Uh, people close to him have known about it, but it's a it's a very personal thing and something he's chosen to fight on his own on his own uh, terms. Um, he's got stage three cancer colon cancer. He has been going through the rounds of chemotherapy, as one might expect. He's in between rounds as, as we currently speak, and he's on vacation. Um, but he's going to go back for another round, more blood tests in September, and he's hoping for a clean bill of health at that point. When you sat down with him, what struck you most about Louis's demeanor? Well, what I had the opportunity to talk to him over the phone for a while, and he he struck me as a guy who wanted to know how he could help other people. That's what struck me more than anything. It wasn't the fact that, you know, he was, I mean, Louis is kind of a private guy. I mean, he doesn't really want to make a, a, a spectacle out of this. But in talking about this, what he wants is to try and make, find some way where he can uh, be part of a charitable cause, remind people who are in the age demographic to get regular checkups, both men and women, um, and, you know, he and I had a long talk about where I stand and because we're roughly the same age. It was very, uh, it was a very open and honest personal talk in that regard. Well, and of course, Louis did just turn 60 last month. Um, LU, he played 25 years for the BC Lions. It's stunning. It was, I believe, 408 games in total, which was, frankly, nearly 200 more than the next Lion has ever played. Um, what, when you look back at that career that sort of went from 75 to 2000, what strikes you the most? What do you remember most? What was most remarkable about his career? Well, I think, I think you nail it right there, Jonathan. The sheer fact that he played 25 years, Paul McCallum is in year number 22. He might get there, but I mean, it's now been what, 14, 13 years since Louis played his last game in 2000. And, you know, here we are all these years later and only one player really in the league is going to is going to have a shot at that. Um, what really struck me, too, you mentioned some of the numbers that he had. I think the most staggering numbers that he ended on such a high note, I think his, his, kick, his kicking percentage as a field goal kicker was over 90. It was the league record until McCallum uh, beat it and then Rene Paradis beat it uh, in fraudulently last year. But P P Pasaglia's longevity... I, at a time when, you know what, I know you're Canadian and I know you're a kicker and that probably uh, gives you a chance for a job, but anybody who can do that, that kind of job for that length of the time obviously deserves all of our respect. LU, after uh, Louis Pisagli retired in 2000, the Lions made him Director of Community Relations. Uh, two or three years later, I was at the Grey Cup in uh, Regina and... Um, I was going to, I think it was called the Lion's Den, which was essentially sort of the Lion's sponsored party room on Grey Cup week. And I was standing in a long line with friends. I was not there as a member of the media. And Louis was making his way along the line, shaking people's hands and saying, you know, thanks for coming. And people were quite, you know, in awe of, of meeting this legend. And he got to me. And Louis didn't know me. I think in all the years I'd worked at the province, he maybe only met me once. And he, he looked at me. I said, hi, Louis. And I just, you know, I've got like funny hat on or something like that and he looks at me and he says it's nice to see you Jonathan and I you know like I said I think we'd only met once I have no idea how he recognized me nobody tipped him off there was nobody there I was just another clown in line who'd been drinking too much I, 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 th I was impressed everybody around me was impressed and then he continued his way down the line and made people feel special it, you know does that surprise you about Louis? 
No, not at all. And when you consider some of the charitable events that he's been involved in personally prior to getting the job as community relations director, I can think of times when he's been involved with women's breast cancer. I can think of uh, opportunities in which he's been in part of the Red, Cl Red Cross uh, giving blood, that, those types of initiatives. Nothing like this surprises me that he, he will fight this and he will fight it as hard as he humanly possibly can. So you know what, folks, I mean, you know, when, he, when, when he gets something going, I would really urge people to sort of you know, look deep and sort of say, how, how can you support it? Uh, the, he's talking with the Lions. The Lions are, are, they haven't got anything formal right now. He's looking for ways in which to sort of, to reach out and, 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 you know, become a spokesman and become a, a flag bearer for the cause, if you will. Uh, it'll, it'll manifest itself and I'm sure we'll follow it in the days and weeks to come. But when it does, I think it is worthy of everyone's support because of what he's given to the BC Lions. Well, you know, Louis Pasaglia has an incredible legacy here, of course, LU, as a football player, as a BC Lion. It's interesting to see, you know, what sort of legacy he'll leave beyond with, with uh, you know, his ability to educate people about colon cancer. Of course, you can read Lowell Alrich's story uh, at provincesports.com. On Saturday afternoon, 4 o'clock, the Lions host the Montreal Alouettes at BC Place Stadium, and they're actually honoring the 94 Grey Cup winning uh, Lions. Louis, as you mentioned, will not be there. He's on holiday. L.U., thanks for joining us. My pleasure.